sir. Uh, all right, first of all, my wife said I had three minutes. <laughs> so I told her 10. No, uh, great class. I, I, I personally haven't gotten to uh, uh, ever watch Mr. Herman teach uh, a seminar or anything like that. So that was very motivating and very uh, informational. I loved the way you did that. Um, everybody else had some great stuff. Uh, I want to I want to uh, reemphasize something that Mr. Gannett said <clears throat> at the end of his session was that uh, we as Kempoists particularly spend a lot of time compartmentalizing things as uh, the same or different. Okay, where the reality of it, and which is what I loved about what he said, was is that it's really all the same. <clears throat> okay, I was asked to, to do a seminar on uh, a term that I coined uh, or put together called sequence rescripting. Anybody know what that is? Sir. Okay, good. So I brought a, I brought a book. I, I have the de de definition. I'll read to you in a minute. Does anybody know what the rearrangement concept is? That's an Ed Parker term. Everybody should know what that is. The rearrangement concept. So let's, let's real quick, this is what I'm going to do. We're going to do delays or I'm going to introduce you to the rearrangement concept because that is not what re sequence rescripting is. Okay? Now remember, I said I'm going to have, I got like two minutes left, so we're going to go quick. Everybody, we're going to do delayed sort. I'm going to number these moves. It's going to be one, two, and three. Okay? So delayed sort, ready? One, that's the block. Two is the kick. Three is the hand sort. Good. Okay? Here we go. Let's do it again. One, two, three. Awesome. Here we go. Back up. Natural stance. Now, listen to the count because I want you to do the number that I say, not the technique. Three. One. Two. Don't give up. Do it and get out. All right. Here we go. Let's do it again. Ready? Three. One. Two. Kind of awkward, isn't it? I think I did. <laughs> Hold on. Did you think you did? Okay. So one more time. Let's do it. Two. One, three. Oh man. Can we practice on that? No. <laughs> okay, so that is a perfect example of what the rearrangement principle or rearrangement concept is, okay? It is an actual Ed Parker term, okay? You can find it in the Infinite Insights and or in the Encyclopedia. It's on the board. Okay? And Mr. Reedy says it's on the board. If you care to take a read uh, later. All of the Uh So, oh, yeah, grafting <laughs> Okay, so that's not what sequence rescripting is. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna read this definition real quick. Oh, you know what? It's unfortunate I don't have my glasses because part, part of getting old. Is this like borrow mine? I got it. I got it. I'm good. Thanks. Okay, so sequence rescripting. This is the way I define it: to provide an alternate definition and application of motion or reverse motion for an already existing sequence of motion or partial sequence. Now, for those of you who know me, that's not going to be the end of it, unfortunately. <laughs> that can also be grafted with another such sequence or partial, which physically look the same. That's important. Physically look the same, but... Wait, i got to find myself here. But, 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 but. Have an alternate more sophisticated or simplified application and definition of most said motion. Okay, so we did the late sword. We're just going to stay with that because time's ticking. My wife's getting hungry. All right, this is the next one. Can I you, sir? Mr. Eckhart actually touched a little bit on this. One of the techniques, uh, one of the things that I did when I started putting all this together was I started putting together contact manipulation techniques, okay, using sequence rescripting. That's how I developed the techniques. I take the technique, delayed sort, use the same motion. It's going to be one, two, three. It's going to be that same exact motion put into action, but with a different definition of that motion. Okay, I'm going to redefine what that motion does. Now, this is where it's important to understand what Mr. Gannett was saying is important. We don't want to look at it as something that's different. Okay, it is the same. Okay, and this is exactly what I'm talking about, sequence rescripting. You look at everything that is different and make it or look at how it is the same as what you already do. Okay? All right, so delayed sort. Uh, you guys are working uh, part of lock flow earlier, right? Is it lock flow? It's lock flow, right? Slipping, locking set, something set. Okay? And you were doing delayed sort, boom, they come back here and then come back here, da 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 da. Okay? Well, guess what? We're going to do a delayed sort. Okay, we drop back to that same block, boom, I kick the leg, 
but my outward hand sword is the lock. This motion is exactly the same as this motion. Okay? And my check hand, if I'm doing delayed sword, is here, right? It's exactly the same motion. I'm not changing anything. Grab a partner, do it. Don't change anything. Go. 30 seconds. Do it slow. Remember that the front kick goes to the leg now, not the groin. There's a reason for that. You'll change the position. You'll lose the lock. Okay, break for a second. Remember what Mr. Herman said about don't let him keep going? <laughs> I love that. It is important that this is done from the traditional attack of the technique, which is a lapel grab. Correct? Center. Okay, it's a lapel grab. We drop back, block. Do not get rid of the arm. We're not actually blocking people, we're coming back to a trap. Okay, kick, and then disconnect and pull that hand up. Go. So it's going to stay back. And as it goes out, you bring it to the front. Oh, no that hand sword, you should have been doing this and doing that with the hand sword. This is that same block you guys are working earlier. The lock sword. It's like gooseneck. And that's hard. You're Good, all right, break. Not second, we got we got like one minute left. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the next one, okay, that I put together, which now incorporates alternating maces into delayed sword attack. Okay, sir. Now remember that, and the, there's many more than this, but I don't have a lot of time because my wife's hungry. Okay, so I drop back, okay, for alternating maces. Boom, boom, and we have that. So on and so forth. Okay. Come on. Okay. So all I did was one, two, three. See how that works? Just two and push. One, two, three, right? Alternating maces. Because of the grab, I draw back. One, this comes up, collapses the arm, figure four. Now, rather than having this out here, I'm gonna move this up to the shoulder and drop. Okay? There's a lot of leverage going on here, okay? Unfortunately, or actually fortunately for you guys, I don't have a lot of time to talk. <laughs> Which, as we just learned, isn't good anyway. Okay? So, I'm going to pull this, and I'm going to step back. As it comes down, now here I am. I just grab that, roll it up, boom, and he's done. Okay, grab a partner, shut it. So that is... You have to separate from striking. You have to separate a couple things. You have to separate the speed, okay? And you also need to have sensitivity, okay? You need to feel what's happening. 
okay? The most important thing about locking, you watch any good jiu-jitsu guy, uh, watch Wally J's videos, watch Dave German, okay? Those guys feel the lock, they feel the levers, they feel the application of pressure, okay? Effort, load, all that good stuff. When you, uh, when you move into this, okay, you have to feel what's going on. Don't be fooled into thinking that you can do this at striking speed, okay, and get away with it because you'll break your partner. Okay? You have to feel it. Okay. So the other thing that, that you need to do is don't think of it as a lock so much all the time. Okay? Remember that it's the same as the striking motion. That's the idea. Sequence rescript. We're rescripting, we're re defining what that motion does, okay? Redefining what the motion does. Uh, I'll give you an example. Another example, just real simple. And, and what you can do with this to really get a better understanding of this is, is redefine your basics, okay? So I have a downward block. I have a downward block. If I just, if I take this and I just roll this into a downward block, what happens to the wrist? It's breaking all the way down. Okay, all I did was here and take that downward block. Okay, and as I do that, it separates the wrist from the bottom. Now I did it fast, like I said not to, right? <laughs> if I do it slow, okay, it's the same thing. It's a downward block. It's I have not have control. Okay, if I'm doing this, I'm here in this S lock, right? Yes, sir. Okay. I slide up with the fingers and I do that downward block. Yeah? So then I do, come on up. Then I do an upward block. Right? Then I do an inward strike. And take out both of my hands. Yeah? Did you get that on video? <laughs> All right. Okay. So sequence restricting is not the rearrangement concept. Okay? Understand that everything you do, like Mr. Gannett said, is in fact the same. Don't keep many boxes. You have one box, okay? Put many things in it and look at them. And look at them differently and look at them the same, yeah? That's it, that's all I got. That's my time's up. Sure.